Bam! Now that's how you redesign an NFL uniform. Look at those helmets, those colors, oh my god. Believe it or not, but the Charger uniforms are now a modern classic, and here's why. The best decision they made was to focus on the classic colors. Everyone wanted a return of the powder blue, and it looks beautiful. Pair that with a more vibrant yellow and you have an electric uniform. Dropping navy from the previous design and focusing on classic colors is straight genius. This decision alone streamlined the brand and uniform as a whole, while also being a unique look in the league. The colors also tie back to the history of the team, and it's crazy that they ever ditched them in the first place. Just look how great these classics were. They're damn sexy. Keeping the white helmet was another great move. I know a lot of people wanted them to go with a blue shell, but I think for the Chargers, their best look is in white. I love when they experimented with the yellow face mask in the past year because it's a great look. It fits more with the focus on bright colors and yellow throughout the uniform. A white mask would look too plain, and a blue one would be too basic, although it would be in a great alternate look too. When it comes to the helmet logo, it too got a great redesign. The new version is more streamlined and has less of a curve, which always looked weird on apparel like hats and jackets. The biggest change to the helmet has to be the inclusion of helmet numbers. The helmet numbers have a history with the Chargers and are an old school design of many early football helmets. Personally, I could take or leave them, but with the exclusion of TV numbers on the jersey, their inclusion makes a lot of sense. Wish they were outlined in yellow though. Moving on, the jerseys aren't as crazy of a departure from previous looks. They still have the bolts on the shoulders and outline numbers. Many say that they look a little plain, probably due to the lack of TV numbers, but I think the main focus is on the colors. The italic numbers are another great addition as they look to be charging forward. The simplified bolts also look much better and less muddied than the previous design. One of my biggest issues with other Chargers uniforms is how they put the, the bolt within a stripe on the pants. The redesign fixes this by having the bolt stand alone by itself, which also matches the helmet much better. Yeah, they look a little plain, but as a whole, the uniform is very consistent. Now. Let's talk about them yellow pants. Mmm, baby, they sure look good. They're great for mixing up the home and away look and call back to their 60s identity. When it comes to the alternate uniforms, this is when we get into some minor issues. The biggest one being that there's too many. Does a team really need two alternate colored uniforms? And what makes them worse is that they're both monochrome. Either pair them with white pants or add a white sock option because they don't look too great. Now, if it were up to me to pick just one of them, I'd go with the navy. The reason being is as much as I like royal with yellow numbers, it's not much of a departure from the powder uniforms. Another reason is the Rams also use a royal and yellow jersey. The navy uniform is a great alternate take on the helmet and having the bolts follow a darker vibe than the primary. As a whole, Nike really knocked it out of the park with this uniform set. It really is the best uniform they've made so far, and I'm optimistic to see what comes next. As for the Chargers, I hope to see these being worn for many decades in the future, and even being looked at as their most iconic look. Truly, a modern classic.